<laughs> Hi everybody, it's us again. This will be our second time of uh, taking down the camper. And of course we did the set up video, so we thought we'd put a take down camper. Now, I gotta tell you, most of the time, I think it's gonna take us uh, this morning to get this uh, big boy put down, is getting all our crap out of here. You know, the groceries and sleeping bags and stuff. We do some uh, sleeping bag storage and stuff inside of here, and we'll show you that. This time we did actually use the uh, toilet, no solid waste, um, so that wasn't too big of a deal. And um, I'm not too worried about the toilet area being dirty. I did wipe it down with uh, sterile wipes and stuff like that. And uh, there's lots of storage in there if you need it. There's lots of storage under the table. So first couple things is the one I would always forget, if it was me, would be to take this off. Because the, uh, the walls are gonna come down to about this level. So this just unscrews. Pops right off. There'll be a little bit of water in there. No worries. And I think we're going to take this with us and clean it. Okay, so the next one is to take down the table. Because you got to have a place to set the bathroom door. So we're going to do the table first. And I apologize if it's dark in here. But uh, we got all the curtains down. There we go. And of course, it just slides underneath here. These cushions come down. So basically, you're just making it like it's a bed. So these are all our sleeping bags, and uh, we put them in these stuff sacks, because some of these are like size and a half bags, and they get in these extra large stuff bags. There's the brand we ended up using. And those, they will fit. Maybe the pillows. The pillows <laughs> will fit under there. We took our pillowcases off. And uh, then I'm going to put the sleeping bags inside the shower bath combo. I'm uh, pretty amazed at how much less crap we have to carry back and forth from the house. Just doing this. We didn't do as good job of stuffing those down this time. That one may go somewhere else. There, problem solved. So I'm going to shut the door. And just the two little latches on either side. You just twist those, the door lifts right off. there and you unlatch these I believe this one slides that way and you just want to make sure you don't bump anything and actually we could have got that other sleeping bag in there this one pulls out towards you sets down and there's the curtains now when we put this away the first time and then opened it up, when we pulled out the uh, the slide, this curtain was a little tangled up and pulling out the slide. So I think I'm gonna kind of do one of those, see if that matters. We got all the lights on. We got everything uh, here, we got the fridge off, everything. So really I guess the next thing is the door and that's all you gotta do inside. Now, if you saw the other video, the door is a bit of a challenge the first time, but uh, I think I got it figured out. This time it went a lot better. I think the trick is, is when you take the door down, you actually got to take it outside the camper and kind of bring it back in to sit in the sill. And it, it took what, a 
quarter of the time to set it up. And then there's little latches here. That you just turn. They lock the door in. A couple of them. You also have to do the Velcro on the outside. I think we're good. The Velcro is here. I'm pretty impressed how, how good these things button up. Okay, so that end's locked in. That's just the buttons up here. Alright, so now we just take out the tent poles. And I put these under the front bunk. And got to undo the little bed latches. I think that's an easy one to forget. You want to unzip about three fourths of the way up. When we folded this up the first time, the canvas really came in easy. I was worried about that. They come out a lot easier than they go in. There we go. I've been pretty impressed with the mattresses so far. Maybe it's the cool night air because we uh, unzipper one of the tent flaps a little bit to let your uh, body condensation go out so you don't get any beating of condensation. Man, I sleep good on this mattress, I gotta tell you. Alright, so we got all those in. You always want to push the slide in first, but leave the tent material out. Otherwise, it can get pinched. That just comes down. So you can see if you got this slide in, and then you slide, this is the bed slide, you can see how there's a potential getting pinched. So. We're going to go out and uh, push the slide in, but we're going to try to pull this back out. And I do believe, other than these, I think that's everything in here. We've got everything in a safe place. So let's go outside. And kill the light. I didn't, let's go around this way. I didn't take the uh, power cord off yet. Mm -hmm. And you got these little powder pins. And you just tuck it inside.
twist, turn, and it locks. Twist, turn, and it's locked. So now we can put the bed in. And you want to undo this little dude. the side. Ta-da. And when we get the uh other slide, the front slide in, then uh, we'll be able to store the rest of this stuff. I'm just going to peek in here, and same thing here. Undo the Velcro. Lift the post. I spent six years in the Navy, you'd think I'd know some good knots. Uh -uh. Not a lot of knot tying on a submarine. Alright. So it might be hung up. I'll go look. See anything that it was hung up on, just a little wobbly. It's been on. Okay, so I did go around and get the other uh, lifter post lock. I don't know what you call those safeties. And then these will all go in there too. This way you got easy access to them, they're not rolling around.
right, so that's for that. Now we got to do the takedown and then the awning. So let's start bringing it down, right? I want to set these up actually. We, uh, we didn't really need the awning for this weekend. It was beautiful, it didn't really rain. But we wanted to play with it and see how it went. It's really just a matter of going around tucking in camp. And remember, this is one person, you know, doing everything. It'd go a lot quicker with two. That's all you do, you just lower it, tuck, lower it, and tuck. Mm. I think the little rain flap that's on it, this part, that hangs down, kind of makes a nice, uh, like an envelope for it once you get it tucked in. Turn it inside out. I just noticed the loop you used to pull out the bed. You wouldn't want it like that, so make sure you tuck that down. That's about as hard as it's going to go. So you see, I don't think this is that bad, really. You have two people going around doing this. And all the other stuff. I think it'd go really quick. Quicker than this video. Okay, so that's it. So now we do the... Uh, this is going to be exciting. And first we're going to lower these.
so what happened here is I tried to put this up in the little track here, so you just got to turn that, and it snaps in. It's not heavy. important thing is if the weather's this you don't want to put that up because uh, even with my step stool I don't think there's any way I could have gotten it down in the middle of the night you'd have to drop the bed ends maybe not push them in you'd have to drop the bows bring it down to height and put it in at two o'clock in the morning your neighbors aren't going to like you with that winch noise That's pretty much it. We gotta put the steps up. I'm gonna have the kids raise the uh, the uh, jacks up, and we're done. Now I gotta put the power cord away. For you. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm no expert. Second time taking it down. Learn more every time. So, of course, like, share, subscribe. Thanks. Take care.